Hello everyone. This is a three dimensional model of a centrifugal pump, and as you can see, it is again connected to an electric motor. And this is the pump, main pump body. And this casing is called a volute casing. And inside this casing, the impeller of the pump is fixed or connected and it will rotate inside this volute casing and it will do the pumping part. Now the inlet that means the opening through which water can enter the pump is this one and so for example in this case let's say this is connected to this kind of a tank uh, from which water is to be pumped to some other location, some higher location or uh, something. So this is the outlet pipe, outlet pipe, and this is connected to uh, this end of the pump. So now, if we want to look at the inside of the pump, then uh, there is. I have separated it here. So, this portion is separated. Let's move it aside. And so, this is basically a cross section. And inside, you can see this impeller of the pump. It's slightly not centered it's it needs to be centered with the shaft that is rotating the impeller now if you look at this casing which is called a volute casing you'll notice one thing that on this side the clearance is very small between the impeller blades and the casing. However, on the other side, there is a bigger spacing between the casing and the impeller blades. Now, this is the basic principle by which this pump can deliver water. That is, through the inlet, whatever water enters, when this is rotated like this and when it is rotated then the water which will be entering through the inlet pipe and from this location because this blades are moving in this direction so it will be given a direction uh, given a velocity in this direction which will be having component both in the radial direction and the tangential direction. So after it escapes the circumference of the impeller then it will move around this casing like this and as it moves in this direction as you can see the area of flow increases and as area of flow increases the pressure also increases as we know from Bernoulli's theorem. So, at this point, somewhere around here, the pressure will be highest, and that high pressure will be able to push the water through this pipe. Now, uh, it is not very clear in this particular model, but in some cases, there is a very sharp um, distinction very sharp separation like a cutting edge cutting edge and that cutting edge will be efficiently diverting the water towards this uh, this outlet pipe 
Now this impeller is called a semi-open impeller but there are different types of impeller. Uh, before, before that let's talk about some problems. See this impeller, this shroud or this particular plate on which these blades are fitted, it's not exactly touching the other side of the um, casing and that means this portion that means behind this shroud or behind this plate this portion will be kind of a cause of inefficiency of the pump because this water cannot be rotated as efficiently it will have some minor rotation but it will not be exactly rotating at the speed required so it's kind of a dead zone not exactly but it's something that causes some amount of inefficiency of the pump however the water which is in this zone which can be actually moved by these blades that will be pumped to this outlet now there are different types of these impellers one is this one which is called a semi open or semi closed uh, you just can look up whether it is called semi open or semi closed but the meaning is same because one side is closed by this plate while the other side is open. There are some other impellers where both sides are closed. That means the blades are sandwiched between two shrouds or two plates. It is to increase the efficiency of this, this kind of a pump because in that case, the water will be uh, thrown, you can say, along a much well-defined path rather than keeping it open like this. So when it is allowed to move in a very well-defined path, then there's less turbulence and less, uh, and that therefore increases efficiency. However, at the other end, we have this kind of open impeller where the blades are simply connected to this kind of a hub, central hub, and they simply rotate inside this has its own utility although its efficiency is less because when you have to pump very uh, impure flu fluids or fluids having some kind of sludge like behavior it is very useful in case of wastewater pumping and because in that case this kind of a pump or this kind of impeller or uh, this kind of impeller may be clogged because of the solids trapped inside the casing. So this kind of impeller will be much helpful in that uh, in those kind of situations where the water has lots of impurities. In some cases um, in wastewater pumping wastewater pumps we also have something like uh, at this point at the center where water enters the casing of the pump then there's something like a blade or a cutting blade is fitted here uh, it will have some kind of this kind of a uh, projection and on that there will be we'll have to draw it now somewhat like this so so this kind of a cutting edge is provided it's not like this exactly but somewhat so when some large solids enter while entering they will be cut into pieces and therefore the chances of clogging is reduced and uh, so these are the different types of impellers and this is basically how a centrifugal pump works
again this is rotated by means of an electric motor and this electric motor will be connected to this impeller using a shaft if I delete this then you can see this shaft is connected to the impeller and this will rotate and along with that the impeller will also be rotated however you have to understand something that this pump casing has to be very properly sealed so that here the sealing arrangements are not properly shown but it has to be sealed otherwise water will simply leak out of this casing and therefore that's not desirable and uh, i'll leave you a link where you can download this the main part of the pump which is the pump casing and this electric motor i downloaded from the sketchup warehouse uh, i'll leave the link for that particular website and this impeller is also separately uh, found this file in the same website so i'll leave the link below for these two elements and on top of that i simply added all these uh, pipe elements so this is how a centrifugal pump works please let me know if you have any doubts and i'll try to clarify all those doubts as much as i can and in the next lectures we'll deal with the mathematics of how pump works how much water can be delivered what will be the how efficiencies turn out and what will be the power requirements of pumps and so on so i believe you have some idea some visual idea of how this pump can work thank you